Hey guys, Zach here for No Christmas Bonus. It's August 3rd, and this is your Weekly Blitz. Since 2003, Mad Max Fury Road has been on the production table. The first real conclusive trailer that this anticipated movie is nearing its end came at Comic-Con this past weekend. The film stars Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron, and Fury has never looked so good. Cliffy B has been making all kinds of news lately. Not long ago, he introduced his new company, Boss Key Productions, but he also made another announcement this week saying he's opening a restaurant. The station in Raleigh, North Carolina, appears to its patrons with comfort food and 10 rotating beers on tap. Dude Huge says he's learned a lot about the restaurant business from the game industry. Road trip, anyone? Members of the gay and lesbian community are getting some support from Swedish electronics retailer Webb Holland. In honor of Stockholm Pride Festival, they will be auctioning off a rainbow-colored PS4 dubbed the Sony Gay Station 4. Check out the current bid and the charity description in the link below. Owners of the Xbox One got a huge reveal this week from Electronic Arts. The publishing giant announced their new EA Access subscription service, which allows early access to games, 10% off discounts on digital content, and free access to huge titles such as Madden 25 and Battlefield 4. Other games will be added to the list in the future, and all this comes for $4.99 monthly fee or a yearly fee of $29.99. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Sony released some much sought after features this week in the new PlayStation 4 firmware update. A few of the big notes include 3D Blu-ray movie support, along with sound quality improvements for 1.5x Blu-ray and DVDs. A few smaller updates made their way in as well, such as moving notifications to the side of the screen. Don't worry Microsoft fans, 3D Blu-ray support is coming for you very soon. Sony launched their PlayStation Now store on the PS4 this week. Now will attempt to bring older PlayStation games as well as games from other consoles to the PS4 via streaming. It's still in beta and they're working out the kinks, but hopefully the program shows a lot of potential if they listen to subscribers and what they have to say about it. Respawn Entertainment's hugely successful Titanfall has released its second map pack called Frontier's Edge. Fans of the Microsoft exclusive title can now enjoy three new maps, Dig Site, Export and Haven, along with new features of the black market. Credits are now earned during battles and from selling burn cards. You can turn in those credits to buy more burn cards or insignias from the black market. The popular open world game Watch Dogs is set to take on the city of Camden. Their official Twitter account, at Watch Dogs Game, tweeted, The city of Camden, New Jersey, had the highest crime rate in the U.S. in 2012. A 24-7 surveillance program is now in effect. Aisha Tyler has been spotted as an NPC in the original release of the game, so please tell me Snooki is somewhere in the Jersey Shore and we can shoot her too. The popular video streaming site Twitch has started also streaming live music this week. The first string came all the way from Izvia, Spain, with DJ Steve Aoki performing. More than 80% of Twitch viewers responded positively when polled by the company about streaming music. This follows the not-so-musical stream from Limp Bizkit's frontman Fred Durst playing Call of Duty a few weeks ago. We caught him live and gave our opinions here. Check out the link below. And finally, fans of Mario and Super Smash Bros. will get a kick out of this one. Dean Wright spent about a month putting together a great fan-made video of a mustachioed plumber weaving his way through the real streets of Tokyo. What else can be said, but check out the video in the link below. Be sure to catch up on all your favorite news throughout the week right here at the Weekly Blitz. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, share the video, visit nochristmasbonus.com, and consider yourself blitzed.